Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donnie, and this video will be proving the chain rule, okay? So the first step is by applying the limit definition as shown over here. So we apply, we're going to have g of x plus h in the, in the middle, and we have g of x over here. Now we introduce something that's equal to 1, as shown over here. This is equal to 1, right? Because if you divide the two, you get 1. And the reason why we have to introduce this, because this will allow us to make this, this equation over here solvable and to solve for the chain rule, okay? We introduce this, and now we're going to rearrange it a bit. We take this g of x plus h term on this side, and we put the h on the other side. And this looks familiar. Let's distribute this limit over here. And this looks very familiar. As uh, shown here, this is the derivative of g of x, which is this portion over here. The only thing we did is change the f to g. So now we rewrite it, and this is the derivative of g of x. And we rewrite it like this, as shown over here. Now I'm going to let this equal to u. Okay? And when we let it equal to you, we're going to bring the g of x plus h term on the other side, and we require this. And then we're going to make the necessary substitutions, as shown over here. And we're going to change the bounds of the limit over here to u to approach 0. Now, once we accomplish this, we're going to also do another substitution. We're going to let p equal to g of x, as shown over here. We make the necessary substitutions, right? And after, this looks familiar to the limit definition. So basically, we, it's going to be f, the rate of, of, of f inside p, as shown over here. And p, we know what it is, right? It's just going to be g of x. And that's the final answer. And that's how you prove the chain rule. And that's it for this video. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.